We are storytellers. We are storytellers. We are storytellers. We take something from the inside, from deep within, put it on the outside, turn it, twist it, and see it from a distance or up close, and share it, share it, and share it, and share it with the world. We listen. We're curious. We create. We collaborate. And we educate. Information and cultural exchange. Information and cultural exchange. Ice. 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 Information and cultural exchange. Welcome back to Chatterbox. Vuli, are you ready? I certainly am. Okay, this is one of the most quoted human beings on the planet right now. He's written more than a hundred books. And he won last year's Sydney Peace Prize. And he was invited to visit Cabramatta High. He's a professor, a linguist, a philosopher, an author. An historian, a cognitive scientist, a peace activist. And his name is... Noam Chomsky. actually because we've actually went to listen to his lectures and it was very exciting and we're very happy to have him here today and very honored as well. We didn't realize the potential of the huge diversity of the children in not only in this school but in this region that, uh, and how much it adds to the color and the strength and the vitality and the interest of, of a country like Australia. This is where the chemistry uh, is occurring. At this point, we would like to introduce to you Professor Noam Chomsky, the recipient of the Sydney Peace Prize Award. Please welcome him to the stage. Thank you all for the very warm welcome, the uh, dramatic entry that was unusual and impressive. Uh, Every and for you. recipient of the Peace Prize has come down here over the last nine years, I think. And uh, it's very special. It uh, symbolizes peace. Good morning. My name is Augustine. Um, what narrative do you think the US is preparing to accompany a possible attack on Iran? And why exactly is Iran a threat? It's a very good question. It's a very important one. In fact, right now, if you read the uh, you know, the literature on uh, strategic analysis, uh, uh, intelligence agencies and so on in the West, I presume in Australia, uh, they describe the worst, the most dangerous situation in the world as the threat that Iran might develop nuclear weapons. Notice, might develop. Uh, there are other, in fact, Iran is one of the few countries in the region that doesn't have nuclear weapons. Their bodies were forward, their eyes were open, their ears were straining, and they were totally engaged in what he had to offer. And he was so generous answering their questions. And they were good questions, but he didn't talk down to the children. He spoke to them with honesty and integrity, and they appreciate that. Children and young people pick that up very quickly. And so what he had to offer them was beyond what they'll ever get in a textbook, what they'll ever get from any you know, news report. It goes so much deeper. What does it feel like to, to be the recipient of the Sydney Peace Prize? Well, it's a great honour, obviously. I'd like to be able to live up to the accolades, which are far beyond anything deserved. I'm glad to join the company of people who've received it before, people I very much respect, some of them good personal friends for many years. And uh, uh, the whole environment is very uh, exciting and stimulating and inspiring, so it feels good. <laughs> and in fact, today was the peak of it in many ways. I wish it was not just me, but the legacy of my generation. I mean, I wish it was a more positive one. It's not. It's a legacy that we can hardly be proud of. We've left a world with uh, facing enormous problems, facing even uh, 
possibility of species extinction. Uh, humans have reached the point where uh, they can uh, destroy the possibility of decent human survival. And uh, the problems are, you know, they'll, they're, we're leaving them to people like these kids here to solve. And uh, they have a lot of responsibility. It's a unique moment in human history. It's like a symbol of peace. It was very inspiring and very like thoughtful. Like it makes you think a lot about the future and how we can achieve peace. Yeah, it's a good opportunity to get to know him, just to talk to him, have that two-second chat, find out more. It inspires us to push towards peace as well more. It's like the way we're living is very hard and controversy, and like you see in the Middle East, there's still war in Northern. Eastern Africa, still war going on, still war in the street, still people screaming for peace. You might see us smiling from the outside, but inside we're bleeding, you know. He, 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 gave, them, he gave them a lot to think about. You, couldn't, you, you could hear a pin drop in the assembly hall when he was speaking. And this is one of the greatest intellectuals in the world, and he's in, he's in the heart of Cabramatta. So today, I think, was almost about legacy building for not only the Cabramatta area, but um, for young people. Today we saw a room full of future leaders or potential future leaders. Uh, there are many things out there that young people like me don't really, uh, can't really comprehend. So to, to have Professor Chomsky to sort of um, explain and extrapolate uh, all of those issues is really inspiring. One day, one moment in time, one child, that's all we need to do. And he did it for 2,000 children. Peace!